Hey there, Tad Hargrave from marketingforhippies.com uh, with a very different kind of video today. This is a prediction of what I think may be coming for the holistic healing community. And I'd actually love to hear your thoughts too, uh, what you think about what I'm thinking here, but also any additional thoughts about where you see things going. So I travel around a lot <clears throat> and I work with a lot of holistic folks, but part of travel is is I see that everywhere I go, the local cab companies are folding and it's all Uber everywhere. Uh, also, when I was on the Isle of Skye, I asked a cab driver, I said, what's it like to uh, to live here? I said, I know there's a lot of bed and breakfasts and a lot of Airbnbs. And he said, yeah, the young people can't even afford a place to live. Everybody's renting, but nobody, young people can't afford to buy anything. So if I tell you what, if you bought a house here on this island, you turned it into Airbnb, next week you'd have eight months full. So it's getting harder and harder to own a home. And of course, you know, the price of cars right now with all the shipping difficulties, harder to own a car and things are conglomerating. So this is not a, a stunning insight. I'm sure you can see it in a lot of different industries. We see it in the organic food industry. <clears throat> when you go to the organic food store and you look at all these companies that you imagine are mama pop shops, a shocking number of them are owned by Coke or Pepsi or Unilever or BlackRock, or, you know, whatever companies. Uh, it's really shocking how many, uh, you know, uh, Clorox, owns Bert, Burt's Bees, for example. And I think the simil a similar thing may be coming for holistic healing. As it gets harder and harder uh, for holistic healers, and there's more and more competition, I think a lot of holistic healers aren't going to be able to hack it as entrepreneurs. And why? A bunch of reasons. But one of them being <clears throat> they've not set the solid foundations of their business got this sort of pyramid I talk about often of there's your ethics, your niche, your point of view, your business model, and then this hub marketing piece. And most of them have not figured those things out. They're trying to be everything to everybody. Uh, they haven't really learned any sales training or ethical <coughs> sales training. They really haven't honed and clarified their point of view. They don't have a business model. And because they haven't done any of that previous work, the hub marketing thing is impossible. And so they really struggle for clients. And I predict there will be more and more of these companies like the holistic clinics, but also online ones where they'll do the marketing for you, which will be quite a relief for a lot of holistic practitioners. So they can just do the work. But of course, I think there will be a few catches with this Two that come to mind right now. One, you'll be paid much less per hour. Uh, so there's not going to be a chance to really build any kind of a nest egg. <clears throat> You're just going to be earning very little because a lot of it will go to the, the clinic or this, these mega companies. But the second one, this is the one that concerns me, is of course you as that practitioner within that structure will have to obey by their, go by their dictates. You'll have to obey their, their mandates, their policies. And so and those may not be the policies you like. They will uh, set the guidelines. You know, I know a lot of midwives, very radical midwives, who are horrified by what's become of the midwifery uh, community. You know, the, how midwives have become medwives and gotten so in bed with, with the modern allopathic medicine. Yeah. I know a lot of people are consumed about the pharmaceutical industry. And my guess is the holistic healing scene is going to be increasingly co-opted over time into that. And so, of course, for <clears throat> a lot of reasons, that concerns me. And if you're concerned by it and you want to stay independent of these structures that I imagine are coming, handling your marketing is so important. Handling what specifically? those five foundational things. Uh, in case you think I'm, I'm painting this dystopia to sell something, you can find most of this for free on my website, marketingforhippies.com slash steps. And there's all five of those laid out. With I've got that, I don't know, over a thousand videos on YouTube on this stuff for free. So please feel free to check it out. But if you want to stay independent, if you don't want to be 
a part of a larger machine, if your work is attempting to be some kind of antidote to the machine, whether it's with me or with somebody else, I urge you to get your marketing handled. Because if you combine what I'm talking about with the looming uh, economic crashes that are almost certainly coming, uh, the writing is on the wall everywhere, and you want to sustain yourself, you know, the, I think the only ones that are going to make it through, first of all, I think most will fold. I think there'll be a lot of healers who just fold. We saw it in the yoga industry, so many yoga teachers I know just quit, shut down their studios and got other jobs. I mean, maybe they teach yoga on the side, but they're not full time. And these were some of the big names in Edmonton. So a lot of holistic healers were fold. A lot of them will join these clinics or other structures that I imagine are coming. And very few will be able to operate independently because they've got their business stuff so dialed. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to want to be outside the matrix, to, to be off grid, to be independent of the system as much as possible. And uh, that's how you do it. Solid foundations. All the other fancy marketing stuff can come later. But if you don't have those solid foundations, those tactics aren't going to do much. So stay away from the shiny object syndrome, or be, don't stay away, be aware of it. It's very tempting to see the, the fancy new things. If I just use this new tactic, that's going to work, because that's the one everyone's talking about right now. Social media platforms come and go, tactics come and go, but strategy is the long term. Yeah, the foundations will never, ever let you down. So here's to everybody who wants to stay independent, who wants to, uh, as Wendell Berry said, you know, it's not too hard to imagine a day will come when people have to choose between living as a machine or living as a creature. So here's to all of you out there who want to live as a creature and not live as a machine and who want to be food for life, not fuel for that machine. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about what you see coming. Uh, maybe together we can get a, a better picture of what's looming for us and, and therefore strategize. And, and if there's enough content and comments, maybe that will turn into another video, a little State of the Union, uh, where I can tie it all together. Thanks so much, everybody.